We have just had a great World Athletics Championships in Budapest, and to celebrate, I thought I would compile a list that nobody asked for. The previous 10 World Championships ranked. I didn't overthink this or apply any formula, but have figured that there were some bad moments in otherwise good championships, and moments of joy in lesser ones. I've also tried not to be too biased towards British success, and maybe this shows in the fact that I have gone for one we did quite well in, Daegu 2011, as 10th and last. This one, for me, as Usain Bolt would say, was a bit shit. Bolt himself false started in the men's 100 metres, but at least he made it to the final, unlike Christina Hurugu, who chumped the gun in the heat in the women's 400 metres. Few tickets were sold, the host nation had little to cheer for, and if you were also watching this in the UK, then you would have had to have sat through some of the ropiest presenting I've ever seen. Honestly, that guy made me look good. We have a gloriously sunny day here in the studio. Um, we've seen some action this morning as well. Jessica Ennis, good night. The championship was saved by Sally Pearson's 100 meter hurdles heroics and an all-time classic men's 10,000 meters where Ibrahim Jalan ran down Mo Farah. Moscow 2013 was slightly better even if it suffered low ticket sales as well and the presence of Vladimir Putin. There was a lot of memorable action though, with Jehu Gordon winning a close 400m hurdles, Bohan Bondarenko taking my favourite ever men's high jump, and Christina Hurugu, her again, claiming gold in the women's 400m by the slenderest of margins. Eighth on my list is Doha 2019, which also felt like a sports washing exercise, although I did enjoy the light shows that came with the presentation of the athletes. It at the risk of sounding like a broken record, had low ticket sales. But it did see Shelley Ann Fraser Price cement her legacy, Sifan Hassan complete an unlikely 1,500m, 10,000m double, and Katerina Johnson Thompson won an emotional heptathlon gold. Maybe the event of the championships for me was an incredible three way battle for gold in the men's shot put. Doha at least had warm weather, unlike Helsinki 2005, which I mostly remember for raining the whole week, and the US and Ethiopia absolutely cleaning up. Essentially, the US won the sprints, and Ethiopia won the 5,000m and 10,000m titles, with the unfortunateness of Rashid Ramsey winning the men's middle distance events. I am sorry to remind you of that guy, but I cling on to the memory of Tonic Williams Darling's 400m victory, and Paula Radcliffe winning her only world title in the marathon. As for Eugene 2022, it was another championship of US dominance. The championship itself was awarded in controversial circumstances, attracted little interest stateside, being the first time the country had hosted the championships. Arnold Duplantis's pole vault world record, Ryan Krause's near 23 meter shot put, and Toby Amazan's world record in the women's high hurdles were among the highlights for me. Before I go on to reveal what number one is, if you like me ordering things, then feel free to check out my videos ranking the best and worst Diamond League events. Although I suspect you probably aren't interested, as these videos are literally the two least viewed of all time on this fledgling channel. Okay, back to it. Fifth is Osaka 2007. Solid. Carolina Kluft at her best, Kennedy Sipikaili on top form, and for the third time I'm going to have to mention Christina Hurugu. And fourth is the only one of these I actually went to in person, London 2017. It was an incredible week, and there was a buzzing atmosphere, even for the morning sessions, and the highlight must have been Britain winning the men's 4x100 meter gold. Somehow though, considering this was a fast track and a great crowd, I was perhaps hoping for more from some of the biggest names in the sport. Usain Bolt had an underwhelming and then tragic retirement party. Pierre Boss was a worthy champion in the men's 800 meters, but even he was wondering where everyone else was. And Remil Gulev winning the men's 200 meters? Phyllis Francis? Corey Carter? I don't know, the whole thing felt a bit caught between eras. Budapest? Third. Great crowd, 
a consistent schedule, no morning finals, and most of the big names stepped up to deliver. It might take time for me to fully digest it, but I really think this was one of the best ever. And what a way to wrap it up with the women's 4x400 meter relay. It is also one where I think we saw the traditional superpowers delivering, but also new names and nations stepping up for the first time. The top two were pretty close. Beijing 2015 had all the biggest names at their very best. And in the men's 100 meters, there was a showdown for the ages. It was a championship that belonged to Kenya, with Nicholas Bett winning the 400m hurdles, Julius Yego the javelin, and my own cult hero Ezekiel Kenboy taking the steeplechase. Daphne Shippers and Elaine Thompson had an amazing ding-dong over 200 meters, and Jamaica did the impossible in beating the US in the women's 400m relay, despite Alison Felix running a 47 second split for the Americans. And then there was the official crashing his segue into Usain Bolt, but it was never going to be the greatest of all time. Berlin 2009. The atmosphere was incredible. The home fans had Robert Harting to cheer, there was a crazy mascot who picked and dropped Melaine Walker after she won the 400 meter hurdles, Bridget Foster Hilton finally won a world title, there was the high jump battle between Ariane Friedrich and Blanka Vlasic, an injured Steve Hooker took only two volts to win the pole vault, Usain Bolt won the men's 100 meter and 200 meter in world record times that still stand, and the women's heptathlon, Jessica Ennis, good night. Jessica Ennis, good night. Yeah, so cheers for watching this video. Um, I'm doing my final few of these for this series and I'm counting down to my favourite athletics memory of all time. Um, keep tuning in to see what that will be at the end of this little series and next time I'll be debating whether it was right for two athletes to share a gold medal in the pole vault in the Budapest Championships or if there should be some kind of solution to this in the vertical jumps. Um, I'll see you then. Fire.